Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can create an experience bar with a level uh, system. So when you are getting some experience, the progress bar will go up. And when you reach your target experience, you will get a level and all the overflow experience will be added as well. Yep, let's get to it. So let's start creating the UI. Let's right click UI image. This will be experience background. Let's add a white square. This uh, is a simple square that can be created in any uh, design programs. I will make it black. Let's make it a little, a little larger so it's easier to see. Let's create another UI image below the background. This one we will call experience. We will add the same white square. And now let's make it a bit yellow here. And let's fill up. So if you hold down Alt Shift and press down in the right corner, it will fill it all. Remember to set the image type to filled. Here you can control it. This is if you, uh, as an example, have a, a circle uh, experience bar. Let's change the fill method to horizontal. So now it will go from left to right. Let's uh, create a text. So on the background here, let's say UI text. Again, hit Alt Shift to make it fill uh, the whole background. Let's send it. Let's uh, make it uh, bold. Let's set the font size to 50. And let's set a default value like 0 out of 100. Now on the experience uh, background here as well, we can also make the level. So a another UI level or text, sorry. Move it up here. Make it bold. Make it 50. Let's scale it up like this. And let's say level something like 1. And let's name this the level text. And this will be the experience text. Good. Now let's let me see where did the experience text go. Yeah, we took it down. So let's take it up. So let's create a new script. Right click C sharp script. And let's call this uh, XP controller. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. In here, we will need some first implementing the uh, TM Pro if you're using that. That is for the text. Here we'll need a private text mess pro. And this will be the level text. Then we will need a private text mess pro for our experience text. And we'll make a private integer for our level. We'll need a we can, what should we take first? A private, no, let's make the public, public float for our current experience. And we need a private float for our target XP. And we need a private image. And here we need to implement the unity engine.ui, this line up here. And this will be the XP progress bar like this. All these need to be serialized so you can see them in the inspector. The same with this one, the same with the level, the same with the target XP and for the progress bar. Some of these are only so we can see them in the inspector uh, here uh, while testing. This one I need I want to keep public because this one I, I would like to access from the other scripts when I need to get some uh, some experience. All these up here are private because I right now I do not have any uh, thoughts on uh, on changing these from other scripts, but I like to see them in the inspector. So that's why I have utilized the field. Let's delete the startup for start function. We don't need that. Let's create the XP controller. So let's make a public void, call it XP controller. What? Oh, sorry. X, I'll call it experience controller like this. 
And in here, first let's say our level text dot text is equal to level space and have a space here plus our level dot to string. If you only wanted to sh want to show the the level and not uh, a text in front of it, you can just remove all this. This will just add this level text in front of the level. Then we need our xp progress bar dot fill amount is equal to our current experience divided with our target experience. So this is controlling the the yellow fill amount that we created for the experience and it will divide it. Then we need to say if our current experience is less sorry less or equal to the oh, sorry, sorry higher uh, greater or equal to our target uh, where did it go target experience then we would well of course level up let's make it come here level up then our current experience is equal to the current experience equal to target experience and this line here is handling the overflow so if a target is 10 and you get 10 experience all the time then you of course will your current experience when you level up will get to zero but if you get 12 experience then you will of course have a little overflow and this will be calculated by that so that will fix the overflow of your experience then we need to say our level need to go up so level plus plus and our target experience is plus equal 50. so at level one we will set a default uh, target experience maybe 100 and when you level up you will say target experience 100 plus 50 so the target experience will increase now let's go to the update function and here we can say if our if input dot get key down and here we'll use key code dot space for this example here our current experience plus equal 12 and then we need to say experience text dot text is equal to current experience plus and I would like to have this plus our target experience like this in here let's create two spaces here and then we need to call our experience controller like this so now let's save this and hit back now on our experience background we can call add the experience controller now we need the level text we have it here we need the experience text here we will start at level one our current experience is zero our target will be 100 and the progress bar is the experience bar here so now let's hit play there we go we will start at level one and if we hit space now we will get 12 experience and when we level up we will go to level 2 and the overflow of experience will be added as well and the target experience is raised with 50. yeah that was what i had to show in this video i really hope it helped you out thanks a lot for watching and see you next time